My name is Ian Mortimer and I'm the CEO of Xenon Pharmaceuticals. So I've spent my entire career in biotechnology over the past 25 years. So I started in the lab and then I moved over to the corporate side of biotechnology. I was really fortunate early on to become a chief financial officer in 2004. And so for the past 20 years, I've really been at this intersection of great science, the people that make these companies tick, and the resources and capital required for us to be successful. I've known Ian for close to 25 years. We worked together when he was very early in his career not long out of the lab. Even when he was a young manager, all those years ago, there were people saying, we're all gonna work for Ian one day. He's really able to move through different parts of the business and understand every aspect of what we do at Xenon, from drug discovery, through clinical development, and looking forward to commercialization. So Xenon is a drug development company um, developing small molecule therapeutics in neurological disorders. We had humble beginnings where we wanted to change the way we thought about drug discovery uh, through human genetics of rare disorders. The company was moving into a different phase, it needed a different type of leadership. We targeted Ian about nine years ago to join the company to lead our IPO along with Simon, our CEO at that time, because we really wanted a CFO with public company experience. I stepped down from the CEO role a, a couple of years ago. Um, Ian moved into the CEO role. As a founder of the company, it was really a natural transition. Ian's background is not a typical CEO in biotech. He actually spent the first 20 years of his career in therapeutic drug development as the CFO. And it's been really nice to see his transition into the CEO role over the last two years and how seamlessly he's been able to make that change. I look at Ian as kind of adept at both strategic thinking and tactical execution. He, he really is a, a terrific leader in that regard. It's very rare to find uh, a colleague that possesses uh, such a well-rounded capacity in biotech. Biotech is a very, very complex business. Ian's ability to really see the entirety of the picture and bring these disciplines together in a way is quite unique. When I joined Xenon, the goal was for us to do more of our own work, so to focus on our own proprietary programs. And so we went public in 2014, and I've been working with the team over the last decade to do more of our own projects ourselves. I think challenge is a word that's synonymous with biotechnology. We work in a very difficult business where more things fail than succeed. We've had our challenges in our drug discovery programs. We've had clinical studies that haven't been successful. We need to bounce back from these failures and be resilient. But we also need to be ambitious in terms of the projects we're working on and reach even further and higher than we have in the past. So over the past few years, we've had some incredible success and some very compelling clinical data with our lead program, XCN 1101. Xen 1101, this is a hugely important drug. We've got patients who have tried many anti-seizure medicines. Prior to Xen 1101, they were having a seizure every other day. And some of those patients now have been seizure-free for more than six months. That's a massive impact on those patients' lives. In spite of all the medicines on the market to treat focal epilepsy, there's still a huge gap. And 1101, it's a new class of drugs, a new mechanism of action. Maybe it can really bring something different and something transformative to those patients. One of the most memorable moments that I remember about Ian is when he called me to tell me about our positive XTOL results. XTOL is our phase 2b study that we ran in adult epilepsy patients with our lead product candidate XCN 1101. Up until that point we had had a lot of challenges and failures in our business and that was truly a changing moment for the company and the catalyst to everything that's happened since then including the significant amount of capital that we've raised and the significant growth that we've had as a company since that time.
Xenon is a publicly traded company on NASDAQ. And it's really interesting being a public company as a biotechnology company because there's this juxtaposition between the long-term development required to get a drug approved and trading every day and someone telling you the financial valuation of your organization. So Xenon's uh, large recent financing was very important because the markets had shifted and it wasn't as buoyant as it had been, but it showed that a Canadian company that achieves success in the clinic is able to raise significant capital from world-class investors. Today, Xenon is the largest uh, publicly traded biotech company in Canada, um, listed on the, the NASDAQ. The company is now trading at approximately $3.5 billion market cap, and it fills me with a great sense of pride, incredible pride that I have in Ian, in his ability to step in to this role, take it on the way he has, and bring the success he has in such a short period of time. Given that we're so ambitious, we're looking to do more. We have built out a very robust five-year plan that represents all of the work scoped for all of our programs. We're now expanding past epilepsy, and we have an ongoing phase two clinical trial in depression. And so if we can develop XCN 1101 as a drug that can have an impact on seizure reduction, but also have an impact on patients in terms of their mood disorders, that could be incredibly important for them and their quality of life. Xenon's success is critical uh, for the life sciences community in Canada because it demonstrates that a company with great management and focus can achieve success from Canada. I think this is a beacon of hope for many smaller companies. I think it's an opportunity to remind investors of what can be created here in Canada. We're lucky to have him at Xenon. I think the province is lucky to have him. Canada's lucky to have him. And I think this kind of leadership that Ian exhibits is really such a critical element of building a long-term sustainable, viable biotech community in Canada.